Hey guys, Tudor Marine here. Look at this. Look at this. I'm looking at it. We have a camera. You could see me. This is insane. It's only taking me like five years to get one. So pretty good timing. Am I right? So this is the Q&A video. We're going to be doing this here. I'm going to answer the questions. I got them right here in front of me. So uh, let's, let's just jump right into it. And just so you know, some of my friends ask questions and they're jerks, but I'm going to answer the questions anyway. And Tom, Alex, you guys, jerks, both of you. All right, let's do this. Let's. Do, I'm gonna be looking back and forth. So, so yeah. All right. This I'm in the man cave, by the way. Here, there's nothing in it yet because we've been so goddamn busy. But it's coming. It's coming very soon. We have my desk is gonna go back there and along the walls here. I'm looking at my thing. Make sure I'm putting right area. Right over there is we're gonna have shelving. It's gonna be awesome. When I do, then I'm gonna do a vlog with El GoPro. And show you around in the room and stuff. So, so yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So here we go. First question, but Connor, do you think joining the Marine Corps in the current international situation is a bad idea, as opposed to joining another branch? I've always heard that being in the peacetime Marine Corps sucks ass. If you want to understand, being in the peacetime Marine Corps sucks ass, but that's not something that you can help. Uh, I think that regardless of of when you join. You're going to do a good job, you know, and you're going to serve your country. And with the way the world is right now, it wouldn't surprise me if something else kicks off very soon. So, you know, it's just one of those things. And you really can't control it. So you just have to decide if you want to join. And all the branches are going to be in their peacetime modes. So it's going to be a lot more dumb shit that happens. So just got to get used to that. Okay. Sorry. I had to pause because my wife brought me this. I just ordered it from a friend of mine who is doing these now, and I was in went to Iraq with him. Let me see. Let's get it up at the camera here. King of Battle 311, First Marine Division. Fucking sexy. It's my old, uh, my old battery and or uh, er, battalion there, and it's comfy as shit. I just well, I put it on, but it's hot in here, so I just took it off. Yeah. So anyway, next question. Let's move on. Let's do it. So. Paul asks, what would you say is the best advice for someone wanting to get more people on their YouTube channel? And I don't know if I'm necessarily the best person to have because I've only got about like 6,000 subscribers, which is awesome, but I'm not like one of those ones with like 10 billion, you know. But I would say that kind of one of the biggest keys is one, collaborate with other people, um, other YouTubers, and kind of get that stuff because generally the interaction with other people leads to funnier content and content that people want to watch more. And that kind of delves into the next point, which is to be original and just be genuine. Because people can really tell if you're not um, if you're not being genuine and it takes away from it. Like if you're putting out this fake persona. So just be yourself and have fun with whatever you're doing. If you if it's like forced and you're like bored, people they're not gonna like it. So so that's what I'd say to that. Let's see. Could you show us your uniforms and stuff? I will in a different video. I have them kind of all put away right now, but Brandon, I will get those and I'll show you. Uh, aside from family, what inspired me to listen to the record? 9-11 was, was a huge, huge one. I was a freshman in high school when, uh, when it hit and I was at home actually, getting ready to go to school uh, in my freshman year. And I, uh, I watched as, the, t as the, the planes hit the tower towers and it just pissed me off. After the first one, you know, people really weren't too sure, but once that second one hit, they knew it was obviously an attack. It was a mistake. And yeah, that became a big part of it. And for me it just it pissed me off. But I got to school and we I was in English class, I remember in first period, when the towers came down. And we didn't have any class. Like the teacher didn't instruct. She just turned on the TV and we were watching the the news. And uh it really hit home, you know, when someone attacks your country like that and kills so many people, it, it really makes you want to go do something about it. So that's, uh, that was the other bit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> On to Tom's question. <laughs> you're going to die in H1 tonight, Tom. You're going to. When you're trying to efficient, efficiently please several men at once, in your experience, what works best good question and one you know i thought about um quite a bit because i want to i wanted to help you out and i think you should ask your buddy below you his name's alex 
you guys have met, uh, he would know. The Army excels at that. Um, also, there's several, I'm sure, videos that you could find on the various various internet sites that uh, specialize in that sort of thing. Also, Tom, you suck. So, <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Out to Alex's question. To Alex's question. Why do Marines eat so many crayons? <sighs> because they're delicious and most likely nutritious. Also, fun fact, you can use them as a candle if you need to. But, you know. Marines, it's, it's better probably than eating MREs for months at a time, which is what we do. You know, because we actually get in there and get work done, unlike the Army. Sorry, Alex. All right. My favorite memory in the Marine Corps. Oh, God. It's re it is tough to... It is tough to... the fuck? Weird shit on my screen. Um, it's tough to pin down like a specific moment you know that I was probably my favorite but I don't know um, and I was actually thinking about this the other day and I and I was kind of like rattling between a few of them but probably I really don't know probably the Marine Corps ball in 2008 when I brought my wife down she's my girlfriend at the time brought her down and we just had a blast and I hung out with, with all our buddies and we were drinking, just, just having a good time. I would say that was probably the best just because it was just a huge party, a four day party weekend, just pure shenanigans. And it was awesome. And Vegas was great. And we moved down to Laughlin, 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 which is south of uh, Vegas a bit. And God, so much fun. It really was. It really was. Uh, what is the best way to train for boot camp mentally in your opinion? Well, outside of getting like a drill instructor to scream in your face, uh, I think it really depends on what you're concerned about in regards to the mental aspect. Are you afraid of, of, of guys getting up in your shit and, and screaming at you? Or are you afraid that, you know, maybe you're not going to be able to, to do like the physical portion? Or are you afraid that you're not going to be able to, to just tough out just whatever various other aspects? And I think if you know what those are, you need to... Um, you have to then go and try to find a way to simulate that because frankly if you get to boot camp you can complete boot camp they wouldn't send you there if you're unable to if they don't think that you're able to to, to complete everything that they throw at you so um, I don't know, for, like, probably the best example and the easiest example is if you have a, a buddy that can scream at you, you know, if that's, if that's your fear, like you just, for whatever reason, those, those assholes up in your face is, is your thing, then get someone to do that and see if you can perform their tasks. Have them, you know, tell them, hey, make me do this, make me do that, make me do this, and, and then have them yell at you and make you do that while responding to them and see if you can do it. See if you can think and, and focus in um, on the task and, and just see how you perform. And that's really it. But in the end, you just have to know that you will be able to get through it. Just you have to keep going. That's the biggest thing. Keep going. Keep pushing. Don't quit. What are some major components to getting put on a meritorious board? <laughs> I don't know. I was never on one. But uh, no, but seriously. Even, I wasn't on one, but I had several friends that were. And a big part of it is just every day performing your very best. Because it's, it's obvious in the staff and your, your squad leader and all that stuff. They see these guys who put more effort in to their work than others and and that's huge. Uh, there's two kinds of, of meritorious boards. There's just like paper boards is what they call them which is purely it's based off your overall performance. So your P PFT and CFT scores, your score at the rifle range, um, stuff like that. And they take that and basically whoever is the highest out of all the Marines that they throw in there uh, then that person will get the promotion. But outside that it's you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, and, and they're only going to select guys who are really pushing themselves and give it 100% every day. So that's the big part of it, because you guys get really lazy and try to avoid work, and you're not going to get on a board if you do that. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll down here. Where is it? Do you have friends that have been DIs and recruiters? I do. Yep. Uh, which one would I rather do and why? Good question. Neither, if that's an option, but... In this case, it's probably not. Uh, I would probably rather be a drill instructor, I think, because 
I think the work would be more satisfying and actually less stressful. It could be more tiring, but less stressful, I think, because you have your set schedule and you're just there to train, train Marines. And I think it'd be very satisfying to be able to say that you helped turn, you know, these kids that were all dipshits into Marines who, you know, then go on and, and do great things generally. Uh, versus a recruiter, the, the one nice side about being a recruiter is that you're back, like, you know, you're back home in, in, in the sense where you're, you're not on a military base, you know, you work out of a regular office and stuff like that. So that kind of thing, that kind of normalcy in your life would be, would be kind of cool, but, but their workload sometimes is just insane. And I have nothing but respect for recruiters because it is not a job I'd want to do. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Okay. What do I think about the comment of getting rid of deserts? It is what it is. I think the deserts look better, personally, especially when we had our sleeves rolled up in up in uh, Twenty Nine Palms, you know. But it is what it is. Uniforms change, and it sucks. But who's going to tell the comment up to fuck off and you know not change it? But sir, yeah, I don't think that you should change it. It's probably not a good idea. I mean, maybe he'll listen. I don't know. Can't we step on snack? I have no idea what that means. I, I, I don't. And seriously, that was my favorite MRE. Chili Mac. Chili Mac is the shit. I know they have a bunch of more like like new ones now, but I haven't tried them. But Chili Mac was basically the only one worth fighting another Marine over, which happened quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to have Fire Academy, PT three days a week, but I do six days of PT. Do you think that's enough, especially with having all your, your turnout gear and stuff on? Uh... Yeah, Leroy, it most likely is. But in the end, it depends on how hard you push yourself. I mean, if you're doing the bare minimum and just kind of getting by, then probably not. But if you're actively working and you're pushing yourself every time you work out, then yeah, you'll be fine. Um, turn out gear, especially if you're wearing SCBA and uh, you got your tank on and everything. It's, I mean, you know how it is. It, that shit wears you out. And so that'll build your cardio, that'll build your endurance, and that's great. That stuff's excellent. Uh, swimming major components, if you want to be in Marsoc, yes, those guys are amazing swimmers because a lot of their, they know and they're able to infiltrate by water if they need to. So if that's something you're concerned about and you want to try to push for Marsoc down the road, definitely get time in the pool and practice. Swim, 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 swim. That's the best way to get better at it. Um, if you have someone that's good and can teach you that sort of thing, then and I can instruct you on swimming, then by all means have them help you out. Uh, where we going? What style of conflict we have in the future, grill or conventional? <clears throat> and will Spec Ops forces be used in conventional? Spec Ops forces are used in are will be used a ton in conventional warfare. Um, because those guys are experts at adapting to anything and everything. But yeah, they'll be used quite a bit, I guarantee it. If anything, is, is sniper teams and just, just running interference and and uh, kind of throwing the enemy off. And, you know, and of course, the normal stuff, taking out the enemy leaders, things like that. Um, what style of conflict do I think we'll have in the future? It depends, really. And it can go either way. I think, I mean, depending on how you look at it, things are kind of getting pushed more towards a conventional warfare against, like, another country. Um, so if, my, if I had to guess, I would say that's probably... Probably what's next, but I'm only taking a guess. And the last one. What is the true meaning of Christmas to you and holidays at boot camp? Um, I really, I mean, I was never in, had a holiday. Like a, well, I guess I did. I had 4th of July, but in terms of like Christmas and stuff, I didn't have any of that there. I wasn't in boot camp then. But I think just being grateful for everything that I had and... Um, grateful for the fact that I was there and actually on my way to becoming a Marine um, was huge. And I thought about that pretty much every day anyway. And that helped me get through it, actually, just because there were some days that really sucked. And just knowing you're going to have to do the same exact shit the next day was mind-numbing at times. But um, I think for me, that was huge, just just knowing and, and being grateful for, for what I, the point that I was at in my life, you know, right then. Um, and ham or turkey... Depends on how it's cooked, but I'm probably going to lean towards ham. Although I do love some some of the the dark meat turkey. <laughs> Pun right there. But um, yeah, definitely ham. I'm a ham guy. So hey, guys, thanks for the questions. And I, I do want to do these kind of on a semi-regular basis. Um, 
So think of questions, you know, and hit me up anytime. And when I, I'll post another one of these things so that you can you can see it and have time to come up with your questions and stuff like that. But I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you later.